Engineers had this concept called level of service. It was designed for highways to measure how uh, traffic was flowing, how, how free flow traffic was. And the idea was to give it a rating scale, A through F, the same as you would get in grade school. Uh, a being the best, F being the worst. A means that traffic flows freely, uh, you can project your trip based on how far, you, you're not gonna be inhibited by traffic in any way. Level of service F means your trip is completely unpredictable. Traffic may snarl it and it may take a long time. You may get to where you're going quickly, but, but level of service is failure uh, when you reach level of service F. For highways, this actually works really well. And it's a good way for us to understand how highways are accommodating traffic. But when we get to local streets or even highways that run through cities that should be boulevards or local streets, Level of service has no point ever being mentioned. When engineers bring up level of service on a local street, it's a tell. It's a tell that they actually don't know what they're talking about. Because if you go to any street that has a level of service A, what you are going to find is no tax base, no people, no place worth going to. It's just merely a conduit, a throughput for vehicles. The last thing you want in your city is level of service A. If you go to level of service F on a street, what you are most likely to find is either a tangled mess created by uh, traffic signals and bad engineering, or more likely you're gonna find a really delightful place, a place that all kinds of people are coming to, a place uh, where Yoga Bear would say, nobody goes there anymore because it's too busy. We should all have places like this. If your engineer is using level of service, and applying that to your local streets, they don't know what they're doing. Make them stop. My name's Chuck Marone, and that is my confession.